So I challenge the mainstream media. Please look at Margaret Sanger with intellectual honesty. I'm not asking you to condemn her, I'm not asking you to justify her, but please find out what the facts are and put those out to the American people so that they will know who she really is and what she really stood for and what she really believed. Now, I challenge the press to take seriously this issue of racial disparity because we apply it in every other circumstance. End this abomination now. National Portrait Gallery, you must remove the bust. You must remove the bust of Margaret Sanger, and we will not quit until you do. This is what she wrote in a book. The most merciful thing that the large family does to one of the infant members is to kill it. And this is what she also said, we don't want the world to go out, that we want to exterminate the Negro population. This is the woman who spoke to the KKK openly and unabashedly. So I have a message for the Smithsonian. I have an idea. What if we were to do this? What if we were to take that bus down? But leave the stand. Leave it standing there. Let it quietly represent that hero, that man, or that woman who will never know because he and she was aborted. The Congressional Black Caucus's response to abortion, silence. Silence. Si Silo is no hero. I'm honored to stand here to say, let's bring the bus down. Yes. And I implore the Congressional Black Caucus to take the lead in the Congress to make sure that this great work is done. I stand here in solidarity with my black brothers and sisters here who are saying this is an outrage against the black community. The black abortion rate is so high in this country, three to five times as high as in the white community. And it's part of Margaret Sanger's vision being realized today across Planned Parenthood abortion facilities across this country. As a woman, I also stand here outraged that Margaret Sanger is honored, honored in this portrait gallery, tax-funded portrait gallery, when she was for the forced sterilization of my fellow women from decades ago, and she would have it today if she could. The forced sterilization of the women she didn't think should breed. And that she was for women having to have birth permits in order to give birth, the government should give them permission to make sure that they were fit to give birth. That is the legacy of the woman that's being honored in this building. And my heart also breathes and is outraged by the fact that abortion is being touted as empowerment. And her vision of abortion in this country is being held up. The killing of millions of little men and women in the room of all colors is being held up as somehow empowerment and human rights. And that is an outrage and a disgrace to all of us. And so we say together, we must, it's time to remove the bus, and that let that be the first step to ending the taxpayer funding, which is seizing this country of over half a billion dollars a year of the abortion giant.